Right, where $57 million is headed to help reopen the Madera Community Hospital. The governor's office has approved a no interest loan through a new program aimed at helping struggling hospitals across the state. The money is coming from the Governor Newsom distressed hospital loan program, but despite this loan, the city of Madera's mayor is still anxious over what a reopened Madera Community Hospital would look like. It's a good day for, uh, you know, for Madera. Uh, it's a good day for the valley and it's a good day for the you know neighboring counties that have been sharing on the burden. Assembly member Esmeralda Soria says a $57 million no interest loan is on its way to Madera. I think that it provides hope to, to the families that have relied on uh, Madera Community Hospital that now um, it, it seems a little bit more real uh, that we are moving forward. Madera Community Hospital closed over a year ago and since then thousands have had to drive out of town to get treatment or worse have gone without care. Since the hospital's closure, Soria says she's been working to find a path to reopen the facility and says this loan will help them get there. In order to get the loan, the state government had to sign off on their application to change hospital management. In total, 16 hospitals across the state are benefiting from similar loans from the program, with Madera Community taking the top amount. Even Tulare County's Cahuilla Health is getting over $20 million to help keep their doors open. However, there's still some uneasiness for Madera Mayor Santos Garcia, especially regarding the new management. There is a, a, a ray of hope. There is a light at the end of the tunnel for us, but we're really confused. Uh, about what that means about the reopening of the hospital. Is it going to be a clinic? Is it going to be something that is a half of a hospital? He says if the hospital doesn't fully reopen, people will still be without proper care. If you're having a heart attack, you don't want to go to a clinic. You want to go to a hospital. If you're having a baby, you don't want to have it at home. You don't want to have it in the back of a police car. You want to have it at a full-blown hospital. Soria says the immediate next steps still need to be figured out, and it's not clear how the money will be sent out to the hospital. She says she's not sure if they'll get it all at once or in increments, but she does hope Madera community will be back open by the end of the year.